Welcome to Data Viz Daily. I'm Kevin McGinley, and I'm going to start a three part series here on comparing uh, Oracle Data Visualization and Tableau. I'm giving a talk at the BWA conference here in uh, Redwood Shores, California at the end of the month, and that, com that uh, conference presentation is going to be about sort of comparing and contrasting Tableau and Oracle Data Visualization Desktop. Um, because there's, you know, A, they both sort of occupy the same space in the marketplace, um, but B, you know, there's sort of, uh, you know, a lot of people wondering, you know, how do these two tools stack up against each other and why would you use one versus the other? So this first session um, or this first episode is going to be more about just sort of showing how they're the same. Um, what are the similarities between the two? How are they sort of set up as tools? How do they work, et cetera? The second episode is going to be a little bit about, you know, kind of going a little bit further with Tableau and kind of pointing out some things that it does um, differently or better than Oracle Data Visualization. And then in the third episode, I'll sort of come back around and talk about what are some of the strengths of Oracle Data Visualization and why might you choose that over uh, Tableau um, despite, you know, some, some differences between the product and, and some maybe some things that Tableau does better. What are the things that Oracle does better that, that you might be more interested in? So to, to kind of have these conversations, um, you know, we're going to start off by showcasing Tableau here. And, and I've got a Tableau workbook open. First, let me just kind of point out that this is Tableau on the Mac. Um, Tableau does offer uh, different versions of the desktop tool for different operating systems. Um, this is the, the Mac version. I just have one of their sample workbooks open. So, you know, the general sort of layout of, of both of these tools is, is very familiar, very similar. So on the left-hand side, we've got dimensions. These are columns from my data source that I can use within my um, sort of canvas here. Um, I've got a variety of measures. Uh, they're sort of grouped by different folders that I can sort of scroll through and, and organize them in. Um, so this is a data set about countries and various statistics about those countries. Um, I think it's uh, an open data set that's provided online somewhere. Um, and then for the most part, uh, everything in here is the sort of palette or canvas that I have to work with. I've got various drop zones here, uh, columns and rows. I've got a filters pane. Uh, there's an area here called marks, which I'll dive into more detail in in, in, a, in a little while. Um, I've got a pages area up here. Um, these are objects that sort of can conditionally appear, not conditionally, but you can choose whether they appear or not. Um, in this case, I've got filters on region and country, and they've been made available as drop downs over here so that uh, you know specific values can be uh, you know, selected. Um, I've got tabs that go along the bottom here, and there are different types of tabs depending on what you're doing within the product. Um, each tab can sort of be a different slice or view of the data uh, in some way, shape, or form. Uh, there's a toolbar that sort of runs across the top. Some of these icons, you know, you may be able to easily guess, um, you know, sort of what they do. Others, you know, you might need to explore a little bit to kind of understand how they work. Um, and then I have up here uh, a variety of menus. Now, this is going to be outside the sort of screen recording area, but you'll see them sort of pop up and appear here as, as they come into view. Um, I'm not recording my entire screen right now and the way the, the sort of Mac works. Um, it puts the menu bar right at the very top of the screen. In Windows, you'd see these more readily accessible right above the, the toolbars. Just a slight difference between the Mac and Windows. But you can see a lot of these are, are sort of coming into screen as I hover over them. <clears throat> so this is the sort of general layout of uh, Tableau when you're sort of working with a data set. Um, if we flip over to Oracle Data Visualization, um, you're going to notice some similarities here. So uh, on the left hand side, we've got our, our data set that we're working with for this particular project. One thing that's slightly different between Tableau and Oracle Data Visualization is that you know Tableau chooses to group things into sort of categories or subfolders. 
Um, Oracle data visualization only really groups things by the data set itself, in which you can have multiple data sets in a, in a particular project. Um, but it really relies more on these icons to sort of differentiate between things that are more dimensional attributes versus things that are measures. You can argue which is the better, you know, sort of approach. Um, both of them have a, a sort of search capability here to get to the particular column that you want. In some ways, grouping by folders is a little bit tedious and hard to find things sometimes. Um, you know, one sort of giant list with a search bar uh, can, can be sort of valuable and, and meaningful. On the other hand, having sort of a distinction between measures and, and attributes is potentially nice. Um, if you've got a file with a pretty long list and you're trying to figure out, you know, where a particular column is or, or whatever, knowing that you can jump right to the dimension attributes or the, the measures is, is sometimes pretty handy. Um, so you can see here we've got a sort of very similar uh, canvas here. I, I replicated the exact same line bar chart, um, you know, even matching all of the access properties, the title, the, me, um, the legend. Colors aren't an exact match, but they're a close approximation. Um, they could be an exact match if I took the time to really make them so. Um, didn't, didn't feel that that was necessary. But what, what is slightly different here is, is just sort of the arrangement of drop zones that Oracle has versus Tableau. Tableau, you kind of saw how it went around both the top and the side, depending on what it is that you were working with. Oracle reserves the top for the filter bar. So this is something that's a little bit different in terms of the layout. Uh, from Tableau in which you've got a filter bar here at the top where you can arrange a bunch of filters and Oracle actually sort of combines the filter and the filter control within the same place. Tableau splits them out um, into kind of different areas or allows them to be split out into different areas. Oracle kind of centralizes all the filters here to t at the top which is, you know, sort of dashboard-like, depending on your point of view of how uh, good design, dashboard design works. But Oracle sort of concentrates the sort of drop zones um, where you can drag columns into to sort of configure the different visualizations. They take a little bit more of a, you know, sort of smaller space approach here, um, you know, where some of these zones will expand as you put things in them. Um, you know, whereas Tableau reserves a pretty pretty large amount of width for both the columns and the rows, putting them up, uh, putting them up at the top. Um, Oracle Data Visualization also has the ability to to create multiple tabs and organize things by tabs. There is a small toolbar here at the top, <clears throat> not as extensive as Tableau. Um, and you won't see any of the menus that that I referenced earlier. Um, now this is running on Windows instead of the Mac. It's a it's a virtual machine, a Windows virtual machine. But the, I don't have any menus uh, to go to here. Um, you know, there's nothing in the app itself, and and there's nothing. You know, since this isn't run native natively on the Mac, there's nothing up top for me to go to. So a much smaller sort of palette of, uh, you know, sort of icons and things to do. Oracle does have this uh, notion of sort of separating the prepare, visualize, and narrate. Um, I'll get into the prepare in a minute, um, but ultimately, you know, visualize and narrate is a way to sort of segregate, you know, sort of active discovery versus story mode. Tableau tends to handle those more um, through tabs. So if we switch back to, to Tableau, um, you know, you'll see there are various tabs down here that do different things, and they have little icons that sort of show you that um, these icons are more dashboards. Here is uh, a story. So where Tableau sort of concentrates everything on the bottom through various types of tabs, um, Oracle's providing a sort of distinction here at the top between different types of things that you would want to do. Now I mentioned the prepare tab. Um, basically what Oracle does uh, and Tableau is uh, they provide you with an interface to sort of look at your data set and look at the how the, the data sets relate to each other. So in this case, I've got my you know file here, World Indicators. I don't have any other files joined to this, nor do I have in the, the Tableau workbook. <clears throat> but you can join multiple files here together. Um, and then within each individual file, you'll get the ability to um, 
you know, look at different columns and, you know, ultimately, you know, sort of control what's happening within those columns. So with Oracle Data Visualization, you can edit the column, you can uh, add some quick functions to a particular column to create new columns. Um, you can set some basic properties on that column, etc., cetera, uh, and really control how that column behaves within the, um, you know, within the data itself. Back to Tableau, um, Tableau has this data source tab that lives sort of in the bottom left, and you get a very similar view. Now they try to put the source diagram and the data set all in the same sort of window here. Um, you know, you can drag this up a little bit, but you get the same sort of capabilities, uh, you know, menus here that allow you to manipulate the different columns, um, do different things to them depending on how you want to sort of set up the, the data set. So in general, they both have, you know, a lot of the same sort of basic functionality and basic approach. I've got an area where I can identify my data, uh, data sets, join them together if necessary. I can manipulate those data sets to a small degree, um, not ETL level sort of quality manipulation. Um, and then I've basically got an area where I can, you know, sort of go in and create different canvases of visualizations um, and ultimately organize them into some form of a story if I want to. And I'll get into to sort of story mode in a, in a future episode. So that is a sort of basic uh, comparison of how they're, you know, sort of very much the same between Tableau and, and Oracle Data Visualization. Um, I'll get into in the next episode, you know, where there are some things that Tableau does that Oracle Data Visualization just doesn't have ready and available yet. Um, Tableau is a more mature product, and I'll get into describing that a little bit as well. Um, but ultimately, hopefully this gives you a good idea of how these two products are laid out. Very similar, though there are some differences in just the basic interface. Um, but, you know, if you're familiar with one, it's not hard to sort of pick up and, and work with the other. So for Oracle, yeah, for, for Data Viz Daily, I'm Kevin McGinley. Thanks for watching.